I've been creating art since I was about seven. It's definitely one of my main forms of communication because um, I feel like a lot of my things I create expresses uh, feelings and stuff better than words ever could. Hi, my name is Heather, also known as Colibri. The world of the mysterious others is basically sort of an alternate reality that I feel like exists alongside ours. They represent things that we can't explain. So I feel like they are kind of like interacting with us all the time, but we just don't recognize that. I have a ton of ideas and projects that I like to do, but those creatures have kind of been a recurring theme like in my sketchbooks and in my work. And it's weird because I don't even necessarily, I don't see like a clear image in my mind of what it looks like. It more like something happens between just the feelings and like the pencil and paper. Rarely do I think to myself like, oh, I'm gonna make one that looks like this. It typically begins with a pencil sketch from my sketchbook. The ones that really like speak to me, they're usually like, please make me into a sculpture <laughs> or paint me. I start with a wire armature. Then I use tin foil to bulk it out. I have to put the eyes in because they're like glass beads. So once I'm done with all that, then I usually sand it. I paint it with acrylic paint varnish it, start to wrap the armature in wool. Then I start to do the needle felting. And needle felting is basically these little barbed needles that are tangling the wool around itself. And then I put the colors on top of that. What I'd like to do with the Mysterious Others, I have um, a vision of uh, doing an installation. I wanna create their world or like a portal. So when you walk to the door, then you're in there where you're just completely surrounded by them. You know, put you in a completely different world. Yeah, I'd like to see them in kids' books to help nurture and nourish that imagination. Life is short and you know, like everything's just over so fast. It's just like a series of moments that just go by. And if I can create something that someone can have in their space, that just, yeah, when they look at it, it makes their heart happier, it makes them feel like, they can just be somewhere else for a little bit. Not that I don't want to change the world or anything, but I'd like to just plant seeds, you know, plant seeds of imagination and creativity.